I don't know, I did pretty well at school, eh? <laughs> but that was just more, you know, drinking in the weekends and stuff like that. I had a pretty strict dad, so I was always home by a certain time on Sunday and stuff like that. But it wasn't really hard of drugs until I left school. I wasn't like the singled out little loser poor kid or anything. Um, and I had a lot of cousins that were at my school and shit like that, and I was never spoken down to by my mum and dad. I don't know why I thought that I wasn't cool, um, but I just mustn't have. At high school, I was a good boy. I was the head prefect of my school. You know, I did well at school, good grades. Um, I, I, was, I got on well with all the teachers. You know, I was popular, I knew everybody, played sport, and um, I didn't know specifically what I wanted to do. I had no specific goal in mind. I didn't have a, have a, a career path chosen. Um, all, all I knew is, you know, I just wanted to be successful at whatever it was I did. Yeah, I was enrolled there and I guess in a sense I had to go, but if no one was going to drag me there, like physically if they weren't making me go, then I didn't have to. And at the time it sort of, I didn't much care about future or anything and always figured I could sort it out later on, so. I felt bullied more by the smarter kids because I couldn't live up to the uh, to live up to their academic standards so I felt dumb I felt useless so I wanted to find my own niche in the world I think what marijuana did for me was just probably run more from what I did at school you know not deal with that and just keep you know, because I failed, you know? And um, so, you know, that was sort of filling that void and keeping it bottom, you know, suppressed, I suppose, looking back on it, you know.